assault and batteries, but my trunks they ever ready. Yeah. Assault and battery, if you scared, you never ready. Yeah. All right, this video is gonna be my WrestleMania shelf tour, and uh, whenever I do my room tours, I always kind of glance through this because obviously there's a whole lot of stuff on here to really go in depth about. But I guess for the first time after nine years on YouTube, I'm gonna give you the detailed look at what's on this shelf. And uh, I actually changed it up a bit just after this past uh, month's WrestleMania. There used to be a shelf, I guess, uh, on the top, and I had moved that now on the bottom. Took off the uh, Unmatched Furies, only leaving one row down there, and those are all signed. So those are the only signed ones I kept. The rest are uh, I'm going to get rid of eventually. But this is going to be, uh, yeah, an in-depth thing of pretty much what's on, on the WrestleMania shelf. So let's start from the top. Now that there was so much room, I guess I could really put my pictures along the top instead of having them kind of all scattered on the bottom. So, top left, we have the WrestleMania 31 with uh, myself, Steve, and Miguel. And then under it is a picture, an autograph picture from, uh, from Sting. This is from WrestleMania 30. Steve, uh, we had a free ticket to meet him. And Steve took... I believe one whole year to get, to give me this ticket. One or two years. I think it was two years. He forgot it during WrestleMania 31. And then in Dallas, he finally uh, gave it to me. So two years in the making, it took me to get this picture. And we were actually going to have a match on it. Uh, Sting on a pole. Sting picture on a pole match. But this is definitely something that um, really highlighted a uh, story going into WrestleMania. Was uh, will Steve remember to bring my Sting picture? And he did, obviously. And then beside it is the WrestleMania 28 signed by myself, Miguel and Steve. This is a uh, one of three, you see they're numbered on the bottom. I got number one, I'm assuming Miguel has number two, Steve has number three. And uh, I actually printed these out and I sent it to Miguel and I'm like, when next time you see Steve, uh, get him a little, uh, get a little sign on there, a little sign ski on there. And uh, definitely turned out really cool. And then the infamous uh, WrestleMania 30 group picture in black and white, got that blown up to an eight by 10 as well. And this is actually one picture I wish I would have gotten signed as well. I think with everyone's signature on there, it would have looked uh, really cool. And then the group picture from WrestleMania 31 outside of Levi Stadium. This one came out a little bit dark, but um, either way, we all got at least a group picture from that event. And then WrestleMania 29. And then this past WrestleMania 34, the group picture. And then the first ever WrestleMania 27. And I guess this picture will always bother me because I put my head down because we were all supposed to be like, yeah, I've seen a loss, we're supposed to be all mad, and I'm like, oh, it's my first WrestleMania, I'll just put my head down, so no one really knows that it's me, but that's definitely me there. And uh, above it is the uh, money from WrestleMania 32 when Shane came out, the original money, I know they gave some away during uh, the DVD sales, but this is the actual, from the heavens, this is the money that fell. Uh, WrestleMania 30, where am I? 34 this is the seating this is actually after the show uh falcon didn't sit with us but this picture came out really well because the lighting was incredible after the show and um so I definitely put that one on instead of the one before the show and then under it yeah see this is how the one before the show looked like so it was kind of like that really white but then after the show came out like that so this is the one from wrestlemania 30 and uh that's about it for the group pictures and then I have the Ultimate Warrior mask that I bought during uh, WrestleMania 30 from Shop Dog from there the Superstore. So obviously with him dying, it's kind of a little special thing. And then of course the bear and <laughs> the cup gimmick. This I don't even know how I really came about this. I just I guess I bought a cup and then I decided to put a bear inside of it. And over the years, I guess it just kind of just evolved into a thing. Just something accidental has now become one of the more uh, the uh, collectible things to do on on YouTube, so I guess I'm cool. I guess I started I started a little thing when it comes to that, and when they had the access shades, I used to stick the shades right in the back, so some of them have it, like that one has it in there, and uh, some of them don't. So I'm pretty sure all of them have it except maybe 34, maybe 32, and uh, what else we got? Oh, along the sides, the little ticket plaques that they had at one once upon a time. I had two of them, one from 27 with uh, Triple H vs. The Undertaker. And then another Hell in a Cell end of an era. And then WrestleMania 32 with my Roman Reigns glove when I bought the, the vest. Came with it. 
and everyone's favorite Chris Benoit rock. I know I have the uh, the Benoit plaque and it was supposed to go in front of it, but can't really take it away from the WrestleMania shelf because this is one of the highlights from WrestleMania 27. And then one of the highlights from WrestleMania 28 is this piece of uh, table which I got signed by Kevin Owens. It was uh, during an ROH show, him versus uh, Sami Zayn in a last man standing match. They actually went through a table right in front of us and I just kind of leaned over the barricade and took a table piece. Why not? Why the hell not? So, yeah, one day I'll get Sami Zayn to sign that. Just uh, got one of them so far. And then, of course, to uh, really... I guess the whole reason for WrestleMania 28 was this match right here, so I got a little... Uh, I don't even know if this is numbered or what, but it looked cool. And, obviously, it's one of the high points of the shelf. And uh, the Sugar Skull... From WrestleMania 34. One of the cooler items I, I would imagine. Well, it seems like that I've bought in over the years. So I'm definitely glad I got that. And then last two things. A Jinder Mahal basic figure in the back. This is, I believe, his first one. So, yeah, see, first time in the line. And meeting him at WrestleMania 28 really started the whole uh, number one Jinder Maholic. So, obviously, it's a big, a big deal. And then last but not least, the Triple H uh, Elite from WrestleMania 27. That's it. That's my uh, WrestleMania shelf. Like, uh, it's, like it's a cool thing, because WrestleMania has really become a big part of my life when it's, uh, you know, traveling once a year and then meeting all the, the people that I've, you know, built a relationship with over YouTube. So I make sure that I really devote a big, a pretty big part of uh, my room to this shelf. So obviously it's going to get bigger every year. And uh, that's it. So... Let me know if you guys have your own little shrine, but this is mine. And uh, that's it. See you guys in the next video.